In this episode, I'm going to show you how the proper way to remove the carriage is. First, you see I removed the pillow bearing, and then the lead screw was actually sitting on the half nut. So one thing I need is something to get this lead screw out of the half nut, because it seems to be engaging. Um, we'll give that a try. By putting the dowel in there, it's going to be able to move the carriage. And the problem was I didn't have consistent drive off of the crank handle. So the engine hoist comes into place. pushing and lifting, um, get the weight off of the ways. The difficult thing is there's three rods running through that piece, so you have to do some alignment there. As you can see, the sensor is hiding my butt crack. Someone was telling me I'd make a great plumber, so I thought we would censor this up. And here the lead screw has fallen out of the drive side, and so we just pull it out. Okay, should be good now. So a little more lifting, you can see that the gear selector rod, forward and backwards, has been removed. A little too much, I think. So at this point, half of the carriage is on the lathe and half is um, free floating. So I spent a few seconds trying to see that nothing's tied up, nothing's caught. It's not. I put a bit more tension on it. You can see the crank's not. Um, on the gear anymore. We've gone beyond the rack. So I can actually get to it at this point. And then just little amounts of movement are all that's really needed um, to get it off. We just have to keep lifting slightly as the load changes to um, pitch angle. So at this point I do something that's probably not the smartest and I don't think I would do it again. But I'm under the lift when lowering it. My biggest problem is I'm quite space limited. Just tie this Tie it up just so that it doesn't go anywhere. Go anywhere. And from there I'll set it down. You can probably see here's the gear can see the gear. What I ended up doing is drilling a hole through it, through the pinion so and pinning it to that shaft I made in a previous version. And since then it's been great. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you wish. I appreciate the likes. Thanks.